Okay, today's question is question 77 of leak code combinations. Given two integers n and k, return all possible solutions or return all possible combinations of k numbers out of the range 1 to n. You may return the answer in any order. So we have n, which is equal to 4 here n being the range, so it's going to be 1 to 4. k is the number of which the arrays can max out at, so it's 2 here, so we've got 2, 4, 3, 4, and all of these are unique combinations, so there aren't any duplicates within here, so we need to take that into consideration. Okay, so what this question is asking for, for a result array which contains all of the different combinations within the range of 1 to n. So here we have the first example where n is equal to 4, we have all of the ranges here, 1 to 4. It's asking for all possible solutions. So that suggests that we'll be using a recursive solution. If we first take 1 and we have some kind of current array, which is going to store our potential solutions that we can later push into res. So if we take 1, we've got 2, 3, and 4 left. At this point in time, current is equal to 1 because we've taken that and we've pushed it into current. Then if we take 2, we have 3 and 4 left. Current at this position is 1, 2. Now, if we take 3, we'll have some if conditional logic which checks. So we're going to prune this recursive tree. And by pruning, I mean we're going to stop it at this point because current.length is equal to k.length. So when current.length is equal to k dot length, we do not search any further because any values beyond this point will not be able to go into results. So at this point, we're going to push the current one and two into res, and then we're going to backtrack. We're gonna go back to this level. We're gonna move across. So we're gonna check in the array if there are any other possible solutions. We can choose three here. So we choose three. We only have four left. Current at this position is from here, one and three from here. Again, we can't go any further because this will not be a valid solution. So we just push current into results. So one and three is pushed into here. Now, let me just remove this current because it's in the way of the tree. Now we go back, we backtrack, we go back to this level, we find four, we do the same with four. So we take four here, there is nothing left at this level. So current at this point is one and four. So we push that into the result array and then we backtrack. So we backtrack from here, we reach this level, we realize there's no further, we realize there's no further positions to move across to. So we backtrack to this level. We look to see if there are any other possible solutions we could go to. We have two. So we take two, we have three and four left. We are not adding one. We're doing this in order so that we don't have any duplicates. So at this point, current is going to be two. We take three. So we take three, there's only four left. And at this position, current is equal to two, three. We can't go any further because it's out of range. We push current two and three into the result array. We backtrack, we go back to this level. We take four, there is nothing left and current at this position is two, four. So we can't go any further. So we add that into results and then we backtrack. We go back to this level, can't go any further. Go back to this level, we have three. So we take three, we only have four left. Current at this level is three. We take four, there's nothing left. Current at this position is three, four. We can't go any further, so we backtrack. But before we backtrack, we add three and four into the array. So we backtrack to this level, we see there's four. We check four, there's nothing after it, so it's not a potential solution because we need of lengths two, where k is equal to two and four will not provide us with that. So now all we need to do is just return res. So time and space complexity. Time is, is k, which is the maximum amount, times m factorial over n minus k, k factorial. And space is o n factorial over n minus k factorial, k factorial. Okay, so let's jump into the solution. So we start off with an empty result array. We create our recursive function. We're gonna call it DFS because that's essentially what we're doing with backtracking. We're gonna pass in index and current. So DFS is going to be called 
with the index starting at one because we want it in range of one to n and current is going to be an empty array. And at the end, we're going to be returning result. So in this backtracking solution, we need a base case. And this is if current.length is equal to k, then we can push into result current. And here we've created a copy of current because we're going to be manipulating current further down in this function. So we need to loop through the values of n and it needs to be less than or equal to n because we are starting at one and we're going up to and including n. So one to four, we want to include four. And in here, we just want to push i into current. Then we need to recurse. So DFS i plus one, because we want the next position passing current. And then lastly, we need to backtrack to find all possible solutions. So current dot pop. Let's give that a go. Okay, great.